Hey everybody, want to cover trades from this morning and keep pounding away at these the confluence of higher time frame new bands trade set up with the lower time frame chart. So I have my higher time frame 71 new bars chart, my lower time frame. This is the NQ MNQ. Uh, this is the micro contract, the full contract. I don't care if you're trading the YM today or the S&P E-mini, all did the, pretty much the same thing. Had brilliant trades today on the N pairs. Oh my gosh, there was just fantastic uh, new band trades on the yen. I made a lot of money trading uh, yen pairs today on my FX stuff. So anyhow, let's take a look at, this was the US cash session open was right here. It was a little squirrely right away. I was sitting on my hands a bit and I was watching the structure of higher pivot lows. You can kind of see the market held and was starting to stair step higher uh, in general in the higher time frame. But I love this setup right here. I got a new bands trade. The market traded below the lower new bands. And let's talk about the new bands. The new bands have three types of math going into them. This is in the non-recalculating mode, meaning it's fixed plot. There's no repainting or recalculating. Absolutely none. No recalculating in the mode that I have them in, which is hard locked right now for all users or all subscribers of the new algo system. I was watching the market cycle. Institutionals look like they're coming in and buying. I wanted to get in. We got a new bands trade on the lower time frame. Price was in the lower area of the bands on the higher time frame. Uh, that was looking pretty good to me. I got in on the new bands trade. So once I've got the four bar reversal, audible tone fired off, I'm in. And that thing just ripped, ran right to the other side of the bands. I ended up taking one other trade. I ended up taking a trade right here. The market had a reactionary pullback, lift, pullback, lift, and the new trend flipped from downside momentum back to uh, upside, but we also had a four bar reversal with a higher pivot low. So it's almost like a W pattern. It didn't fit our specific criteria for W pattern, but I mean, you can see there was in a sense a W pattern. I got in again and I added once and that thing ripped. Uh, I was no longer on the long side as I whittled out that trade. We had an excursion outside the upper uh, upper new bands on the higher time frame, and that was right here. So that was a big trade. I got into this one pretty pretty big size, bigger than I worked on the buy side, and right away got a reaction. It oscillated a bit. I missed getting in. I had set a limit, seeing if I could snag some additional in, uh, liquidity in. It didn't fill, but it ended up running, and I got out somewhere in here and called it good because I was in heavier size. So, I mean, you know, trading trading three, I think I got in two, two MNQs here. I got in two and then added one. Uh, that, that was a pretty darn good trade right there. This one I was in three, missed adding. Uh, I think all in all, that, I'm pretty sure that was a size. I was playing twos and threes, looking to do about 800 on the day uh, in this account and did 989 and I'm done. It's a Friday. I've already sent all my withdrawal requests. I like to do withdrawal requ requests from all my prop firms that have unrestricted payouts like Take Profit Trader, U Profit, 1UP Trader. Uh, I'd like to do those on Thursdays. I didn't do it yesterday. I got too busy, so I did it today. And, you know, usually, typically, we'll see funds by Monday. If I do it on a Thursday uh, early in the day, you know, if I get done about 11 a.m. Chicago time, I usually always have my money the next morning. Uh, so, anyhow, really good trading today. Uh, I like how the market's pressing on this Wall Street Journal article that some of the Fed people are not liking the pace or the rate of rate increases or something to that effect. Uh, and I agree, they're raising way too fast. It's just like, oh, we're going to smash the economy. We don't care. 
you know, get a big hammer, let's just smash everything. We were so far behind the power curve and that's our fault raising. So now we're going to go in and fix everything by destroying everything. You know, it's like, are you guys out of your minds? Just leave the interest rates where they are right now for a while, wait six months, let the midterms go through, get into the new year, see what's happening. And then if you need to keep raising them, raising them. And, uh, you know, so anyhow, uh, but yeah, really good action. But hey, we just had another excursion outside of the bands on the higher time frame. We had one here on the lower side, uh, right in here. We had one on the upper side. So let's go see what did that look like. Let's put, press on the little arrow. Okay, right there. We had a nice setup. Excursion outside of the bands. Inside of the bands, confluence, nice reactionary. It, what do I say in all my videos? Over and over and over again market context. I only want to buy and I only want to sell in areas where it makes sense to me. I don't care how pretty the setup is. Does it make sense to me to be a buyer or seller there? This morning we blew through a bunch of resistance levels, had a big short covering pop. It made sense then in that exhaustive type move to get a new bands confluence from higher and lower time frame to hit that to the short side. That's just a textbook, you know, layup like a basketball term. It just it's a layup trade setup. Here we just had another one. We pressed outside of the bands. We we're right here. We get a four bar reversal with the you know these are audible alerts that you can set your own audible tone or make a custom one when we get that little box. And you know, hey, that's a that's a four bar reversal, and it's happening outside of the bands. Hit that. You got the higher time frame outside of the bands. Uh, here was a pullback below the bands. We had one here. See this uh, W pattern buy? That was that was the second pivot of that W pattern buy. So you had two opportunities to do long side new bands trades as the market on a higher time frame was setting up a a. Uh, a w pattern buy. There's the W pattern line with the arrow saying, hey, you got a W pattern buy in a higher time frame. Work the edges. Stop playing in the middle of the road where you get run over. Work the edges of the market where it's most reactionary. Uh, if you are going to play the middle of the road, do trend following. When it's leaving one side of the edge of the road and going to the other, Trend following diamond pickup, trend following diamond pickup, trend following diamond, trend following diamond. Or when we left this area, trend following short, trend following short. So we have all kinds of signals and trade setups you can take advantage of with the new algo system. And that's why I'm getting unending emails, people passing prop trading uh, accounts that they've never done in the past now that they're on the new algo system. Is the new algo system perfect? Is the new bands trade the holy grail? Absolutely not. But I have lots of training, very extensive training, and you just got to listen to the training and take notes. I, I'm getting emails week to week where I can tell people have maybe gone through the quick setup and then, oh, okay, I know how to use it and I'm going to go use it. Don't do that. Go through the playbook before you get on the playing book. I'm the coach. Go read my playbook. Go use my tools the way I'm telling you to use them, or at least understand how I'm using them, then go do whatever you want. But please go through and, and uh, listen to all our very extensive training material. My gosh, let's go take a look at how much training material there is uh, when you subscribe on the members page. It's very extensive. It's Friday today and I'm a little hyper, so I'm ready for the weekend. Uh, but here's the members page for subscribers. We got the download. We got a initial template to get set up. We show you how to find and send in your machine ID because right now we're only in Ninja Trader 8. I am frantically working on getting it out in Trading View. Uh, not going to happen anytime soon because I'm not going to launch it in Trading View unless I launch it together with an established Trading View vendor. I I don't have enough manpower. I, my main job is I trade fully automated systems for large private equity funds with my group, uh, five of us. So we don't have time to sit here and do admin, uh, you know, for let's say a thousand traders. <laughs> if I launch it in trading or at any point I launch it in trading view, I need a group that already has the marketing, 
has the admin already down and I'll bring the system and the training. But we show you how to download import. We got six videos on chart setup and all the different settings and all that. Then we get into how to properly track support resistance levels and I get into market context. It's very, very important. Uh, then we get into our primary trade setups, our secondary setups, what instruments and time frames. And this section is actually going to be greatly expanded in the last few days. I'm overdue for that, but I got some really good content going here for FX, for uh, futures, all the kind of core instruments everybody trades and some tables with settings. Uh, aggressive trading, for those of you that like to hyperscope, there's a specific setup. Uh, I teach there for those that just want to get in and go boom catch these high momentum moves I show you how I use the new squeeze indicator uh, and then I get into patterns 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 then I get into what is what makes up high probability trading then system trade examples with some live trading being shown then I get into the new bands trades and there's four videos on that I just added two more so more to come. So this is an expanding, but the content here is, I, I, I've traded for 18 years full time, five years institutional. So there's tons of information I'm translating to you from all my years of trading. So go get it for, we're charging 97 a month for the subscription. Uh, you can get a big discount if you go quarterly. I, I would suggest going quarterly, you'll get a big discount. But John, who runs Zoom in Profit is the man. He does all the admin, all the activations. He's the one running the show on the whole new algo system day-to-day -day ops. I'm the content guy. I'm the system guy. I'm working with the programmers to fix bugs or you know get people handled if they have technical issues and adding features and updates. Uh, and we're already, uh, I got an update probably going to hit next week where I'm going to let traders have two different uh, capabilities with the bands. So a fair amount of traders said, hey, Chris, I, I, we want that recalculating, uh, half speed recalculating version of the bands. Can we have that too? I'm like, okay, what the heck? We'll, we'll give you, so one of the new bands indicators, we'll call it the new bands R new bands underscore r that'll be the one that recalculates uh, at a half speed and uh, and then the regular one is the one that's non-recalculating does not repaint that way you know on some charts maybe you want to watch the recalculating one uh, and on the majority of your charts you want to watch the non-recalculating the the standard one so totally up to you give you tons of flexibility we got all kinds of automated signals and alerts with the system uh, I don't. I I played with Lux, uh, what's that? Lux Elgo, my elite signals. I've played with uh, uh, oh gosh, like six different of the biggest mainline. Oh, Trendbot, and uh, yeah, my elite signals. I just can't see any visual efficiency. Uh, well, I see some visual efficiency in some of the systems, but not what I would call. Uh, repeating easy to identify high probability setups. Oh yeah, I can put a buy or sell sign on a freaking trading view chart and and market that. That's that's garbage. You got to have stuff that's of high probability and gets you set up for the best trades in the best market context. So this is we got the best system by far. The new algo system is just kicks ass. I I, I can go in at will and make money in these prop firms. Just sitting back and working new bands. New bands trade is one of my primary trades. And I do like M and W patterns on higher time frames for what I would call more intraday position trading. So anyhow, if you have any questions, let me know at info at neualgo.com, info at neualgo.com. And uh, you guys have a fantastic Friday. Don't over trade today if you're already up. Don't give it back the rest of the day uh, or the trading gods will come spank you. Uh, and uh, have a blast this weekend. Be safe and uh, have a great time. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.